In nature, animals use many different methods of defense to avoid predation. None, however, is more bizarre or grotesque than that of the horned lizard. Nature in your face! There are many larger lizards in the desert. Some are more colorful, and there's even a venomous one. But the horned lizard stands alone when it comes to protecting itself. We certainly were not expecting to find this out firsthand, but you can't always predict what might happen when you set out on an adventure. What you got? Yeah, I got him. Take <laughs> Check oh, it man. out. <laughs> right in the mouth. I didn't see this. Where was that? He was right here. He shot Holy blood. Cow. Wait. In look the at mouth. this. Look at this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Show it to the camera. Oh my gosh. Oh, look wow. at his face. Look at your face. There's certainly no shortage of lizards running around in the desert but this might just be the strangest. This is the regal horned lizard. And as you can see, it has spikes all over its body, on the head, on the sides, on the tail, on the limbs. It's a little uncomfortable to hold. It looks like a little dinosaur. Now, as you can see from what <laughs> Jeremy went through here, this is why I'm saying he's so unique. Now, this small little lizard just runs around looking for ants and other insects. Not a very big lizard. It's what it does to defend itself that makes this thing so special. Yeah, and uh, I got a little bit of a taste of that, literally when I caught the lizard. Now they're not hard to catch, they're very slow. They're called horny toads because they like to flatten the little body out, look just like toads, they're not real fast. They don't need to be just catching ants. But once a predator grabs them, to deter them, they will shoot blood out of the corner of their eye, which is gross enough, but then if you get that in your face, eye, or mouth, it tastes terrible. Now, that didn't deter me enough, so when I picked this guy up, he starts the second defense the horns, the little crown of thorns on the back of his head. He starts jabbing his head backwards into the would-be predator. So hopefully they're dropping him and he's taken off. Horned lizards will only squirt blood as a last resort. Their first instinct is to seek shelter in a rock crevice or in thick brush. If that's not an option, they will inflate their body with air to appear larger and expose the sharp thorns. If all else fails, they can voluntarily burst the blood vessels around their eyes and squirt blood a distance of four feet, aiming for the mouth and eyes of an attacker. The blood is extremely foul tasting and is very effective at preventing further attack. Jeremy found out for himself and likened the taste to sour vinegar. Horned lizards themselves are predators, their diet consisting mainly of harvester ants. A single lizard can consume 20,000 ants in one week. Witnessing something as unique as the horned lizard's defense was one of the highlights of our trip to the desert. And for the first time, the tables were turned and we were the ones to get a little nature in our face.